वेलकम बैक वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ लिटिल ऑन ऑर्डर्स हियर व्हिच इज अगेन पार्ट ऑफ योर एन आई एस एम एग्जामिनेशन एंड इट्स ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर फॉर ट्रेडिंग कॉन्सेप्ट एंड टर्मिनोलॉजी वेन यू लुकिंग एट ऑर्डर्स आई मीन द ट्रेडिंग सिस्टम विल अलाउ यू टू इनपुट योर ऑर्डर्स इन वेरियस फॉर्मैट्स now what are these formats what what are these conditions uh, and they can therefore be categorized into something called the time conditions your price conditions and your other conditions we not going to go in a lot into detail on on these conditions except that uh, a few terminologies which are theoretical in nature uh, and we need to know so in a time condition what we are saying is there's something called a day order which basically means that if you've entered an order for a particular day right and you've not squared off that order it will automatically get squared off at the end of that day right so what we are saying is whatever contract you enter whatever order you enter that will be relevant only for that particular day now that's simply a day order another is an immediate or a cancel uh which is also called the IOC now what happens in an immediate or a cancel order is that as soon as you decide to buy or sell a contract and the order is released into system if there's a match great if there's no match it is cancelled right so what it basically means is as soon as you put or enter the order there has to be a match so so there is there is no time lag between entering the order and matching of the order right so it's it's something like an immediate or a cancel so a lot of a lot of day traders you will see are using an immediate or a cancel uh, uh, kind of orders something which is very important is again on the on on the price right so there can be a lot of division on the basis of price so let's look at one is called the market price now under the market price what happens is that you do not really put a price at which you are buying or selling the order what will happen here is that the trading system will automatically generate a price for your order right so that that's so so you're not putting a putting a price you're allowing allowing the trading system system to put a price so that's what typically a market price does similarly there's another concept called let's me just take it down it's called the limit price right so so let's say time condition 1 and 2 price 3 and 4 so what does the limit price do in limit price what is happening is you are basically giving a limit price for the order now what it means i'll, I'll just share it with an example now let me put that example in a different color uh let's say red now there's a contract uh let's say which which is uh, trading at 42.05 so so it's currently trading at this or the market price of that contract is 42.05 you decide to buy that contract but you want to buy that contract at 42.00 right so what you say is that okay i am going to buy at 42.00 but at the same time you are aware of the fact that if it goes below this you need to sell it immediately so what you do is you say I am buying at forty two point zero zero, and I am going to put a stop loss at forty one point nine zero. So what will happen is that if this contract comes at this price, it will automatically be bought. Right? That is what you wanted. You wanted to buy at forty two point zero zero. But at the same time, if this contract further breaches this price and reaches forty one point nine zero, this price will act as a stop loss or a trigger price and the contract will be squared off so what is actually happening is that 
although you'll make a loss but you know that you have uh, ha- you've had a stop loss at this price right so this is what basically the concept of limit price means similarly you can reverse the condition you can say 42.05 i want to sell at let's say 43 so if the contract reaches 43 you are, it automatically uh, squares off and and sells by the same time you say that okay if it comes to 41.90 i want to sell off because i feel that i'll make a loss then it will that that will also act as a trigger point and the contract will be uh, um, uh, there'll be a stop loss and it will be sold off so from price angle you can see that when when you're looking at orders you can look at the various conditions now you can, so you can understand the day order uh, you can understand the immediate or a cancel order then there's a market price where you are allowing the trading system to put a price and a limit price which, which we just explained with an example of a buying price and a stop loss at the same time there is uh, other conditions as well which are called uh, the pro and the cle now if a trader orders for himself for for the for for himself then then it's it's basically a pro uh, order and if the trader is ordering on behalf of a client it's called a client so we'll say it's a proprietary order or it's a client order so a pro would mean for himself a cle would mean for the client another thing that i would like to mention here uh, is from the point of a price limit and a circuit filter now if you if you recall and i'll put this again a different color uh, let's say green so so if you recall about the price limits uh, and 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 the price bands there are no daily price bands which are applicable in in the currency futures contract which we've discussed earlier so there are no daily price bands but if there's an erroneous entry then how do you really help so so what we're saying is if 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 a member has done an error then is there is there some price limit that is set so what we're saying is that if a contract tenure is six months up to six months so contract tenure up to six months then the price limit has been set as plus or a minus three percent so i hope you remember this what we are saying is that there are no price bands but if there's an error entry then is there is there some kind of safeguard measure which is there so what we are saying is if the contract is up to six months the price limit is plus minus three percent of the basis of the contract and if it's let's say the contract one is up to six months and the other is contract is say from six months from 6 to 12 then this limit becomes plus minus 5% right so that is otherwise and if you if you enter an order which uh, outdoes these contract uh, limits then there will be an automatic price freeze so what it says is that if you if you're trading at let's an x price and it's a, it's a contract up to six months and you enter a price for the contract let's say above three percent there will be an automatic price freeze right so and that's that's just to safeguard for an erroneous entry which which might be possible 